Hi guys, today we're gonna look at awesome origamis. I've lately seen so many cool origamis, and I decided to buy a whole book about origamis and make my own origamis from YouTube. Now, let's get into reviewing all my origamis. First, we have this super cool fan like thing. Like, it, might, it may look like an umbrella or popsicle kind of. But look what will happen when I open it. It's massive. Wow. And you can treat it as a fan. Yeah. And I like these pretty cool star designs. I didn't actually make this and draw this. Um, I, this is actually double sided paper. Yeah. And I just simply, you just need some sticky tape to stick on the popsicle sticks, some popsicle sticks, and some paper. Now let's move on to the others. So you see this big ball over here. Now let me show you this who this big ball is actually. So by uh, its iconic ears and its big trunk, you might have noticed it's an actually an elephant. So you actually have to blow in. This is a blow in, this is kind of hard. So these are the legs, this is the ears, and this is the trunk. And this is the hole that you blow into to make it so fat and fluffy. Yeah. So you just need paper, skill, patience, pumpkin marker, and yeah, that's it actually. Paper. Yeah, I already said that. Now let's jump into the other one. Now let's check on this super cool like yellow thing. So drum roll, please. Okay, that's really bad. Hamster! Sorry about the knocking, I have no idea who that was. Look, it actually looks kind of like a beaver, and I like how I drew this. This is super easy. So, like, this is how it looks, and then it's like, hi! And then his paws up. Yeah. And these are his legs, and his little tail. Yeah. Kind of looks kind of ugly. That, that his fur is the wiggly lines. And the small little thing here is his tail because Hamza has small tails. Yeah. And he can actually stand up. Yeah. Like that. Now we're moving on to the other ones. Now, what do we have in here? Now let's